Oh, hey YouTube, what a week. Man, it's uh, Christmas, uh, just, I always forget how hard Christmas hits me. It just, just I, I just, it's it just one of those things. I always think, ah, Christmas, no big deal. We just get it done and move on with life. But no, I just, it's just one thing after another. And uh, I came out here to work. Uh, I got a, okay, the security door. Uh, the last time we worked on it, the, the deal was it was supposed to be done by Tuesday. It's uh, Sunday after that Tuesday. I literally wrapped up that evening. I sent him a picture of the status showing it, and he said, hey, can we push that back a day? And I said, absolutely, no problem. And then uh, he came by, and he looked at it, and he started making changes, so we've got to add a couple things to it. He wants to put a ring around the deadbolt because uh, somebody told him that if you hit the deadbolt with a sledgehammer, it'll you, know, you can open the door. And he wants to put some little guard to make it a little harder to do. And I, whatever, I don't know if it'll do any good, but we're going to do it because that's what makes him happy. And um, you know, there's a couple of there's one other thing I want to do to it. So it hasn't been touched, not sent you know, whenever that day was. Um, so, it's been cold and it's been wet. Uh, the cold isn't such a problem as much as the wet, but it's been like this morning. I don't know if it's supposed to get up to, you know, the paint wants to be at least 50 degrees. I don't even know if it's been that warm yet. Uh, so, here's the door. It's just setting here the same. Um, today, what the big thing is is we're going to see if we can get the hinges welded on to the, the to the door uh, and before we do that I got to grind the welds clean up the welds on the corners and wherever else and then I got to build that little guard and weld that on and just basically get it ready for paint and if we can I might see if we can put the first coat of paint on the on the back side of it on the inside so that it can be, because I can just prop it up out here in the garage, give it a coat of paint, and uh, let it set overnight. Even if it's really cold, it will eventually set up. And uh, it is, it's dry. Uh, the, the humidity is what concerns me the most about painting with that stuff, uh, because it seems to get that moisture, that little bit of moisture on the, on the uh, metal keeps it from getting good adhesion where the cold doesn't seem to bother it so much as just it takes forever to dry which you know it not much i can do about that so that's what we're doing today so um you know let's get started before i get started i wanted to play with this little hatchet i found i've had this thing for years i never really paid attention to it and then the other day i noticed it's marked that it was made in sweden and um I had never really used it before, but man, it splits uh, it splits kindling really nicely. So I, I wanted to clean it up. It, it's uh, I'm not going to do a whole lot to it, but I want to get this get the head off the handle. There's some nails been driven in here, and I think what I'm going to do is make it a new wedge and and just fix that up real quick. So uh, just a just a little side trip here. See, somebody stuck some goofy nails in there. I have no idea where this thing came from. problem with being easily uh, distracted is uh, you, you shouldn't pick up anything that's not what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> I thought I was just going to pull this thing off and 
clean it up and you can see it, it cleaned up all right it, it's nothing fancy i don't have any maker's mark that i can find on it i thought there was one right there but it's just cavitation in the in, in its forging the uh and i'm not sure if this is really old school like where this has been this i think is a, a i don't think they just tempered the end i think this may actually have been a uh cutting bit that's been forged into the into the head which uh, that's kind of cool you know it's just old old world old world technology but as i was pulling the handle apart i was just going to clear the uh way here for a new wedge i have pulled i don't know how many nails i threw them out but then i started pulling these out there's somebody had just driven washers in there so there's not much left of this and i think what i'm going to probably do is i may order a new handle or uh, see if I can find one local. There's a few places here in town that I can probably try to see if I can find something that's close. So uh, I think that's it for this uh, hatchet for today. So I think what we'll do is yeah, we'll just I think what we're going to do is just we're just going to get a new handle for it because that's just that's just pathetic right there. It's just pretty rotten. And then when people start driving random, random crap in there, it just tears it all up. So I'll just see about getting a new handle. So we'll put that on hold. So, all right, let's get busy. Okay, so back to this. Um, I'm getting ready to line up and set these hinges. These are just three inch barrel hinges. They're simple, uh, cheap little hinges. The only thing I don't like about them is uh, you, can, you can jig them up in such a way that they have a gap so that there's a little bit of a gap here. Uh, and that keeps them from, and if you don't, if you just weld them down like I'm going, I'm going to, what ends up happening is when you open and close the door or gate or whatever it is you've welded it, it scrapes the paint off of the hinge whichever one is is actually turning um or actually I, I guess a little bit of both but anyway uh that's what we're getting ready to do right now i'm gonna go ahead and i gotta get some spacers lined up in here and because there's supposed to be a 3 16 gap all the way around i gotta get that uh laid out and then we're gonna go ahead and weld these guys on one of them this one here in the middle is going to get turned it's going to get welded uh, opposite so that it locks the door on so that you can't pull the door off the hinges uh, and uh, that's where we're at so we've got all the little corners sanded and ready and so uh, we're just moving right along so let's keep moving Okay, I got the hinges welded on. I got it clamped down the perimeter. I just wanted to see how... Oh, actually it swings pretty free. I usually have a little bit of binding, but no, that's, that's beautiful. That works great. Let's, uh, oh, something's... Oh, ah, it got me. Yeah, no, that's...
think I'm gonna call it quits for the day on this uh, working on the, the the door. I got a I got a, a text a message to the guy and uh, I need to find out about the deadbolt that he's using because I, I don't want to put a you know he want like I said he wants to put a ring around the deadbolt, but I don't know how big the deadbolt is so I don't know how big to make that ring and so I need to get him to get back with that uh, like a brand and model number on the on what he's using in it and this little uh, hatchet if uh, any of you know recognize it or what it is you can see the little stamp it says Sweden one and one quarter inch um, if that means anything to anybody let me know uh, I'm kinda curious if it's you know I have no idea where this thing came from I I think my dad had it for since before I was a little kid so um, like I said that's it for this video uh, I'll be back out here probably tomorrow working and uh, probably getting it ready for paint so hopefully it won't rain hopefully it doesn't get too cold and uh, we'll see you tomorrow bye